today i will explain you in the last unit of this block name of this unit is hr <coughs> human resource management means hr management and audit so what are the different things which uh, i'm going to explain you so that's what i will explain here so step by step so the first topic here given introduction means introduction of hr man, uh, measurement sorry hr measurement and audit so the first uh, given introduction hr managers perform two here let me select this whether it is working or not yes it is working hr managers perform two major functions so what are these two major functions which uh, hr managers perform first it is the line function okay so first it is the line function so here i can write down line function and this is the second one this is the staff function so these are two <clears throat> major functions which hr managers perform while the line function refers basically to managing the hr department so line function here it is managing the hr department the staff function requires advisory role okay so staff function requires advisory roles and uh, here line function uh, refers to managing the hr department hr managers and their performance are subject to audit for these functions so you see how hr managers are performing okay can be evaluated on the basis of the audit for the functions which they perform so data to evaluate performance and its relationship with hr practices come from several sources means whatever data uh, which by evaluation of which performance can be analyzed come from various sources okay so relationship with hr practices comes from very uh, several sources okay but uh, five systems are most often used to measure hr effectiveness so several uh, sources are there but uh, five are most uh, often used to measure effect uh, so measure hr effectiveness so these uh, five are five sources of data for measuring the performance of hr manager is the first it is given hr audit second given benchmarking third given hr accounting fourth given hr information system and uh, fifth given hr research so these are the five uh, different sources from which <coughs> data uh, for evaluating the performance can come from so one by one i will explain these first given hr audit means human resource audit so auditing first let's understand about auditing then we will move on to hr audit auditing is the part of the control function you see here it is a part of the control function which is defined as the examination and evaluation of policies it means aud exam auditing meaning examination and evaluation of policies procedures and practices in all phases of businesses okay so examining the examining and evaluating you can see here hmm. at auditing means uh, auditing means uh, examination and evaluation of policies procedures and practices in all phases of business okay here the most effective means so that once again i'm repeating uh, auditing is nothing but the examination and evaluation of policies procedures and practices in all phases of business to achieve the most effective administration of the organization hr management auditing consists of analysis and evaluation of policies procedures and practices to determine the effectiveness of hr management in an organization that's the way here it is auditing it means it is uh, for measuring uh, the effectiveness 
of the organization so examination and evaluation of policies procedure and practices in the same way here human resource management auditing also consists of analysis and evaluation of policies just the way here it was also policies procedures and practices to determine the effectiveness of hr management in an organization benefits of hr audit uh, given here some benefits are given so <clears throat> identify the contribution of hr department to the organization means how much hr department contributing to the progress and um, the benefit of the organization that can be identified by hr audit it improves the professional image of the hr department it clarifies hr audit clarifies the hr department's duties and responsibilities hr audit to find critical human resource problems hr audit ensures timely compliance with legal requirements so whatever legal requirements means uh, laws are there according to laws uh, hr department should uh, make uh, different policies for the organization create as how it creates increased acceptance acceptance of needed change in the hr department it uh, means hr audit requires thorough review of hr department's information system so these are the benefits of hr audit so how these things can be beneficial for example here yeah, requires thorough review of hr department's information system so how hr department is working so that can be evaluated by hr audit and also it creates increased acceptance of needed change so it in creates increased acceptance means by hr audit it is possible to increase the acceptance of needed change in the hr department also because uh, uh, people working in the hr department uh, will come to know that what are the things in which um, they are lacking so these things they can uh, evaluate scope of hr audit to conduct a meaningful hr audit information on the following human resource function is necessary so you see to conduct meaningful hr audit information on the following human resource functions is necessary okay so what are different uh, types of information sources of human resource of informations are required you see meaningful hr for hr audit information on the following human resource functions is necessary so what are these things uh, procurement function here given procurement function in inventory present you see in inventory present and future needs for manpower so procurement function here it involves in inventory reliable performance uh, standard so from uh, these things uh, information can come from for uh, hr audit possible change affecting manpower location and matching of required and available skills cost of requirement and replacement valid uh, measure for testing and selection from this all things information can be taken for hr audit for example reliable uh, performance standard so the information from reliable performance standard can be used for hr audit development function <clears throat> so first it was the procurement function and so from the procurement functions information can now come here i was explaining about uh, 
the source is from uh, where information uh, for HR audit uh, can be obtained. So the first I explained here it is uh, the procurement function. Second function the from where the information about from for HR audit can be obtained it is from development function. So valid measures for employee performance here. Cost benefit so these are the things which come under uh, development function. And the third source for at HR audit uh, information it is uh, compensation function. Fourth uh, here it is given the maintenance function and fifth one it is given the integration function. So some issues given. So questions for HR auditing. So issues for HR auditing. What are different questions or issues for HR auditing? The first uh, question or issue it is that identify who is responsible for each activity. So who is going to be responsible for each activity for HR auditing. Determine the objectives sought by each activity. So what are the objectives for each activity. Review the policies and uh, procedures used to achieve uh, those uh, objectives. You are given review the policies and uh, procedures used to achieve uh, those objectives. Prepare a report commenting uh, proper objectives, <coughs> policies and procedure. So prepare report. So, so how report uh, for proper objective policies and procedure can be prepared. Develop an action action plan to correct errors in objectives, policies and procedures. And the seventh issue here it is given follow up on the actions plan or action plan to see if it solved the problems found through the audit. So these are the issues or uh, problems or questions for HR auditing. Audit report next given. The audit report is a, a comprehensive description of HR activities that includes both commendation for effective practices and recommendation for improving uh, practices that are less effective. So you can see here. Audit reports given. Audit report is a comprehensive description of HR activities that includes both commendation for effective practices and recommendation for improving practices. Audit uh, report isolates areas of good and poor performance within their function. So audit report isolates areas of good and poor performance within their function. So audit process, so audit process consists of identifying indexes, indicators, statistical ratio and gross number in some cases and examining the variation in the time frame in comparison with a similar previous corresponding period. Also, you can see audit process consists of identifying indexes, so identify indexes, indicators, the statistical ratio and gross number in some cases and examining the variation in the time frame so here audit process we can say identifying the indexes indicators and the statistical ratios and gross number uh, for examining variation in the time frame in comparison with a similar previous corresponding period it means how much uh, time uh, or uh, how much uh, effort uh, required uh, for a particular uh, thing now and what it was in the past. So those things are going to be compared. A summary statement is then prepared and uh, sent to top management for information and action. A summary statement is prepared and sent uh, to the top management for information and action.
नेक्स्ट गिवन बेंच मार्किंग सो वॉट आर डिफरेंट थिंग्स वी शुड लर्न अबाउट बेंच मार्किंग यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन बेंच मार्किंग इज अ स्टैंडर्ड और पॉइंट ऑफ रेफरेंस अगेंस्ट विच थिंग्स मे बी कंपेयर्ड सो इट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड और पॉइंट ऑफ रेफरेंस अगेंस्ट विच थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू बी कंपेयर्ड बेंच मार्किंग शुड इंक्लूड क्वान्टिटेटिव एंड क्वालिटेटिव मेजर ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस एंड इट्स इम्फेसिस शुड बी ऑन कंटिन्यूस क्वालिटी इम्प्रूवमेंट there are two kinds of benchmarking so first uh, internal benchmarking so monitor their own performance here internal benchmarking involves monitor their own performance in order to identify change in key business activities over time means monitor how the performance uh, of people working in the organization so here you see monitor their own performance in order to identify change in key business so they they should uh, monitor their performance to identify change in key business second benchmarking given this involves comparing performance with that of other organization it means here organization is going to compare the performance with uh, the performance of other organization organizations need to decide uh, what activities or other dimension of the organization should be compared with others who the other organizations uh, should be how information on other organizations can be obtained so these things should be decided by the organization for external benchmarking the usefulness of hr benchmarking given an organization can identify how its hr practices compare with the best practices that is the usefulness it means the hr practices of the organization can be compared with the best practices present uh, in the industry it helps organizations to learn what type of hr practices work and they can be successfully implemented so best uh, hr practices can be learned uh, through benchmarking then they provide a basis for reviewing existing hr practices and developing new pro- practices you can see they provide a basis for reviewing existing hr practices and uh, developing new practices next given human resource accounting human resource accounting is the process of identifying and measuring data about human resources and communicating this information to the interested parties it is the measurement of cost and value of people to the organization you can see it is account means human resource accounting is the process of identifying and measuring data about human resources and communicating this information to the interested parties so it is about identifying and measuring uh, data about human uh, resources and uh, communicating this information to interested parties it is the measurement of it is the measurement of cost and value of people to the organization so human resource accounting it is related to the measurement of cost of people employed in the organization and the value of people in the organization it involves measuring cost incurred by private firms and public sector units to recruit select train and develop employees and judge their economic value to the organization so here hr accounting involves uh, particularly a uh, measurement of costs incurred by private firms or public uh, sector units to means how much cost uh, it incurs so uh, when uh, recruiting selecting training and developing employees and uh, how much value or uh, those employees uh, have uh, for the organization so that type of uh, calculation or evaluation can be made by using um, human resource accounting so uh, objectives given for objectives of hr accounting
objectives of HR accounting given. Uh, first objective given to furnish cost value information. Cost value information for making proper and effective management about acquiring, allocating, developing and maintaining human resources in order to achieve cost effective organizational objective. So here the first objective is uh, how to furnish cost means how much cost uh, it will involve for uh, managing uh, human or you can say the people working in the organization. So, so managing meaning it may involve uh, how people can be acquired, developed uh, and maintained in the organization to monitor effectively. Actual accounting also it is uh, uh, objective it is to monitor effectively the use of human resource by the management. To have an analysis of uh, human assets, you can see here third given. To have an analysis of uh, the human assets means uh, how much uh, human assets uh, are are there in the organization can be analyzed by uh, asset accounting it facilitates evaluation of human resources recording in the books of account and uh, disclosure of information in the financial statement it helps the organization in decision making for direct recruitment versus promotion transfer versus retention etc means according to the cost means how much cost it is going to incur when recruiting new employee or how much it will cost for transferring or promoting employees so this type of um, evaluations can be made uh, uh, from uh, HR accounting so limitation of HR accounting given so there is no proper clear cut and specific procedure or guidelines for finding cost and value of human resources of an organization. Second limitation, valuing human resource under uncertainty in future could be unrealistic. Valuing human resource under uncertainty because human resource it is not large, just like other uh, assets of the organization. So value means the value of the human resource in the uncertain future cannot be uh, calculated or can be evaluated re realistically. Third given, in what form and manner their value to be included in the financial statement is a question yet to be classified on which there is no consensus in the accounting profession. So in what form and manner their value should be included, means uh, in what manner and uh, form or the value of the human resource should be included in the financial statement is not uh, uh, clear or there is no consensus in the accounting profession as a human resource uh, human resources are not uh, capable of being owned retained and utilized unlike the physical assets there is problem for the management uh, to treat them as assets in the strict sense it means a human resource cannot be treated as uh, assets in the strict sense for fifth number given in spite of its uh, significance and necessity Tax laws do not recognize human beings as assets in spite of significant so tax laws so tax laws do not recognize human beings as assets there is no universally accepted method of human resource evaluation so these are the limitations of human resource accounting so next given human resource <clears throat> information system so what is this human resource information system a human resource uh, information system is a system used to acquire store manipulate analyze retrieve 
and distribute information related to company's human resources okay so it is a type of system human resource information system is a type of system used to acquire store manipulate analyze retrieve and distribute information so here acquiring the information related to company human resource storing uh, information related to company's human resource analyzing information related to company's human resource so it is about information okay so how these functions can be done on the information related to human resource of the company so that system which is used for this uh, known as uh, human resource management system so from the manager's perspective and uh, human resource uh, human resource management uh, system can be used to support a strategic decision making to avoid litigation to evaluate programs or policies or to support daily operating concerns it consists of following sub system so uh, human resource information system consists of following sub sub systems so following are uh, sub systems first given recruitment information so recruitment information comes under human resource information system manpower planning information training information health information system appraisal information system payroll system personal statistic system so these all uh, things come under human resource information system so how to design human resource information system designing human resource information system given here the type or range of human resource information system depend on the nature and the size of the organization it means the system depends on the size of the organization preference of top management need for government regulation you can see of preference of the top management need for government regulation and availability of software package etc so these are the you can say the factors which affect the type or range of human resource uh, information system the steps involved in the development of uh, sound human resource information systems are given below so following other steps by which a uh, uh, human resources uh, human resource information system uh, can be developed so the first uh, step uh, here given preliminary uh, preliminary a uh, system analysis so in this uh, first uh, step prelim preliminary system analysis it involves definition of problem specification of the objectives and uh, operational needs constraint uh, affecting the system so here you see it involves definition of problem specification what are uh, problem specification so here definition so here problem specification of the objective should be defined and operational needs constraint and also so these things are going to be defined in preliminary system analysis so what are different things going to be defined first a specification of the objectives operational needs constraint operational needs constraint affecting the system second given system design broad engineering uh, requirements of the chosen alternative are specified and its effects on the people are estimated in system design third given system engineering in this step a detailed study of engineering component and uh, their cost effectiveness is made the recommendations about uh, recommendation about the system is then made to the top management after a detailed study of engineering component and their cost effectiveness a recommendation about the system is made to the top uh, management uh, in this third step fourth step given system testing and implementation means whatever system uh, 
is going to be used should be tested and implemented system monitoring and evaluation after implementing the system the system uh, should be monitored and evaluated whether the system is working properly or not if not then what are the reasons due to which uh, the system implemented not working properly human resource research even so research is a systematic and scientific process of collecting information analyzing the information and drawing conclusion for decision making so that's about research so research is about a systematic and scientific process research is a systematic and scientific process of collecting information analyzing the information and drawing conclusion for decision making there are two kinds of research first uh, research it is academic and second uh, field of research it is applied so first uh, let's see academic research answers answers to contribute to the existing body of knowledge so it seeks to answer means uh, it try to find out the answer about uh, the existing body of knowledge it increases the what you can say the extent of existing body of knowledge second given applied research are application oriented there are five kinds of applied research so what are these uh, five kinds of uh, applied research so first uh, kind of applied research it is comparative approach so in case of comparative approach research team compares its organization with another organization to uncover areas of poor performance you see comparative approach so this is the first kind of applied research approach so in this the research team compares its organization with another organization to uncover areas of poor performance second given outside authority approach the research team relies on the expertise of a consultant or published research findings as a standard against which activities or programs are evaluated third given third uh, kind of applied research it is a statistical approach from the existing records the research team generates a statistical standards against which activities and programs are evaluated fourth given compliance approach through its fact finding the team can determine whether whether there is compliance with company policies and legal regulation okay here uh, the research try to find out the answer whether uh, on the fi fact findings are in, in compliance uh, with the company policies and legal regulations or not fifth given management uh, by objective approach so when an, when <coughs> management by objective approach is applied to the human resource area research team can compare actual results with the stated objectives you can see here the research team can compare actual results with the stated ob with the stated objectives so research method following are different uh, methods uh, for research so first given it uh, interviews it refers to face to face discussion with managers and other employees to get information on particular issue interviews of employees and managers of uh, research teams are powerful tool for collecting information about uh, human resource activities and uh, identifying area that need improvement it is time consuming process second uh, research method it is questionnaires so questionnaires generally consist of a list of a statement or item to which respondent res responds 
by either saying yes or no or showing varying degrees of agreement disagreement besides being less costly questionnaires provide an opportunity to collect large amount of data in short period of time as they could be administered to a group and the third given secondary source of data so if the focus of research is to collect historical data perhaps the best source could be a secondary source so where data is available in published documents government reports journals magazines etc so that's all about uh, this unit